Okay, here's a couple of methods for positioning holes in Solid Edge ST5. Um, new in ST5, when we create a hole in the uh, synchronous environment, what we have the option of doing now is mousing over an existing hole or circular feature. And when we get a key point, hitting the A key will highlight that hole. What that means is that as I move my um, feature around and position it, it'll want to snap so that the axes of both holes are aligned. That allows me to kind of accurately position this hole relative to another cylindrical feature. I'm then going to go and create a um, linear dimension between, let's say, the top face and the new hole I've created. And rather than have this being vertical, I'm just going to hit this lock uh, dimension plane and select another face, and that'll be the reference for my measurement. So I can click and adjust that. Something else we can do uh, is create what's called a reference axis. Uh, I'm going to jump over to the ordered environment because I want to make some sketch-driven hole uh, profiles. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to right-click in space and go to Show All and go to Toggle Axes. What this command lets me do is select a hole or some other cylindrical feature, and it's going to create a reference axis. You can see it there in the 3D space. It also adds it to my toolbar. I can use that axis now to accurately position other features. So if I um, jump onto this plane and I'm going to create, let's say, two holes, I may want to build a construction line between these two holes so that the alignment, the line they form, is parallel to this reference axis. So I can go and click on this reference axis with a parallel relationship and drop that in there. I can also create a dimension and use the um, if I use dimension axis and go to set it, I can use that reference axis as my linear dimension. And again, drop a dimension between the two and then key it in. I'm just going to put a, another horizontal vertical dimension between my leading edge here and the front of this hole. And then maybe another one just to define the spacing between these holes. Okay, so I'll finish that command and what you can see is that the combination of synchronous and ordered can give you some pretty powerful results. So as I adjust this feature, notice that those sketch driven holes are adjusting as well. So I can key in new values and they'll adjust accordingly. Um, I can also grab you know, maybe all the features on this top face here and as I move them, because uh, of that collinearity between the two axes of those holes that we created in the first step, my uh, hole will follow it there. Notice too that Solid Edge has picked up on the symmetry and is adjusting that part. I can turn that off just by toggling S. So a lot of ways to control your part in synchronous technology.